Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I apologize. I have no camera. Um, I haven't been on for a while, and for some reason, my camera is not connected anymore, and I tried to troubleshoot it, but I think I need to reboot my computer, and I already have my tabs pulled up, so this is what we are stuck with for this video. I have 25 bread and butter bolos coming for you. We're going to get the screen share going, so it won't matter much, but um, I did put makeup on today just for the video, but you guys won't get to see that. So let's get started with some bread and butter bolos. If you're new to the channel, I share items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. In this video, I'm sharing my bread and butter bolo video, bolo video, my bread and butter bolos, which are items with smaller profit margins, but they all add up. These items are typically $35 or less. All right, let's get started. All right, the first item is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it's a slide, like a water slide. It's from 1990, it's vintage, it's super cool. I picked this up in a mystery box and I sold it for $29.10 and the buyer paid shipping. So always be on the lookout for vintage new old stock toys. This didn't have the box, but um, it was still brand new. As you can see, it's in the original plastic and it has all the parts. The next item I have is this Anna Lee doll. Now, Anna Lee ranges from bread and butter. Some of them are more big money, but I always pick up Anna Lee because it's pretty much always a, a good sale. Let me make sure I'm up here. Okay. Yep. Bummer on the camera. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I ended up taking a best offer on this one for $11, um, and the buyer paid shipping, and I probably paid like a dollar for this at a garage sale. I usually pick them up pretty cheap. The next item is this Diamond Look by Kramer. This is a vintage um, box, jewelry box, and, you know, it just kind of came with some stuff that I got, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try it. It is a major bread and butter. I sold it for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Jurassic World. Um, it's a dinosaur figure and this one sold really fast. It's got this little opening on the side and you can shut it and open it. It's super cool. And I sold this for a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Fall Guy coloring and activity book from 1982. Um, it's unused, so it's new old stock, but you can see it has some on the front cover, some, what do you call it, uh, wear, but that's just from age. And I sold this for $20.70 and the buyer paid shipping. And this did take the right person to come along to buy it, but you can see it's unused and it's got the different pictures. So somebody who likes the fall guy, I don't even know what that is. Something about stuntmen or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So pretty cool. I always pick up vintage uh, coloring books. The next item is this Build-A-Bear set and it's Christmas themed. Um, I took a best offer of $22 on this and the buyer paid shipping. It's got the little stuffed animal and the other accessories that go with it. I probably could have held out for more, but I was happy with that I picked this up, I think, at a garage sale in a, a lot of uh, clothing, uh, Build a Bear clothing. So I don't have much in it. The next item is this cat's meow. You guys, um, if you've watched my videos, you know I picked up a bunch of cat's meow at a garage sale. So I probably have like 10 cents in this. I don't know, maybe 20. Um, I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, this one is the Babe Ruth Museum. So I would say that with the cat's meow, they range from bread and butter to, you know, decent money, depending on what you get. Like to me, 20 bucks is pretty good for this, but this is more of a rare. So definitely be on the lookout for these. They've got the little cat that sits on the front. It'll be on the front somewhere. The next item is this Dimensions Four Seasons Birds Cross Stitch Cruel Set. This is from 1987. It's got the birds on it. I took a best offer of $20 for this and I picked this up at a garage sale for a buck. I think it was a garage sale. May have been a thrift store, but I usually do not spend 
at the most, I'll spend $2. If it's like a Christmas stocking or something, I might pay up to five because some of those can be big money bolos. I actually have a video on um, cross stitch items to be on the lookout for. You guys should definitely go into my YouTube channel and search that because some of them go for big bucks. The next item I sold is another cat's meow. Now this one is more of a bread and butter. And I sold this for, for $12.60. I have 47 of them available. They are all the same. They are all new old stock. So I basically created one lift listing and I have 47 available. And I still have 47 available. I'm sorry, I started with 48. So if anybody collects cat's meow, come make me an offer because I want to move these. All right, the next item. And that one's from 1997. It's the Southern Bell. Okay, this is the Disney Mickey Mouse Clubhouse talking bobbin figures. Now, I did get the playset with this, but with when you add the playset in, the shipping costs were just going to be way too high. So I went ahead and just sold the figures, and I took a best offer of 35 on these. And I picked those up at a garage sale for 5 bucks. The next one is this Nylant Trash Masher. This one came from a thrift store. It's from 1988. Um, I believe this may have been in a mystery box. I think so. And I sold this for $31.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Barbie Ken doll. And he's got the rooted hair and he's got the necklace. But besides that, he has no clothes. So this one I was going to lot with a bunch of Barbies. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw him up on there and just see what happens. And he sold for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Mulan doll from 1995, and I sold her for $17.60 in the buyer paid shipping, and I got her in a lot of um, dolls, so probably have a buck or so in her. The next item is this Crash Bandicoot, or Bandicoot, not sure how to say it. Um, this is a remote control car. It does not work. Um, I think, let me see. I want to say there was maybe a cord attached to it. Yeah, right there. So you can see it's been cut. However, if you can find this in like working condition, this is a bolo. I Mine was not, but I still sold it for $15 just as like a little push toy. And the buyer paid shipping on that. And I picked that up at a garage sale for like 50 cents. I did not know it was broken when I picked it up. But I decided, you know what, I'm still going to try it. And it worked out. The next item I have is this Nintendo Mario Princess Peach plush doll. And I sold her for $14.96 and the buyer paid shipping. This one sold fast. Um, so it's Nintendo. I always pick up Nintendo themed plush because they do really well. They're not a huge bolo. Like in this case, I was almost 15 bucks. But, you know, I got her for like a buck. The next item are these Peter Rabbit uh, plush clip-ons. And I picked these up at a garage sale and I sold these for $30.80 and the buyer paid shipping. And what's cool about this is the garage sale that I picked them at, up at, the lady was an eBay seller and I think she also had a booth. So she knew her stuff to a point. But, you know, when I walk up to those garage sales, I always think, oh boy, it's an eBay seller. They're going to want eBay prices. And she had great prices on her stuff. And I sold this I'm sorry, I bought this for like three bucks, all of them. So definitely a, a very cool bolo. The next item is this print. And I believe this came from my I Got It Free garage sale. I'm not 100% sure, but I think. Um, and you can see it's really cool. It's got like the, um, you can see the hidden animals. And I, I did take a low offer on this. I took it out of the frame. If you watch the video, I, it was in a frame and I was like, eh, I just want the shipping to be cheaper. So I, I rolled it. I did take a best offer of $30 because I just wanted it to find a new home. It's from 1975 and it's a hidden wildlife print. And again, it sold for 30 plus shipping and I got it free. So the next item I sold are these Robert Bruce seafarers boy swim trunks are these cool or what i picked these up at a garage sale and at this garage sale they have a garage sale like six times a year and you know it's kind of one of those where i don't always go to it but i was like 
this day. I was like, I'm going to go. And I think these were a dollar. And I sold them for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this little licorice black cat American girl doll. This came in an American Girl lot that I picked up at a garage sale. So I probably got about a dollar in it. I sold it for $13.20 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is are these SpongeBob figures. Um, I, I like selling toys. Some of you guys probably won't waste your time doing this, but I got these probably for a quarter at a garage sale and I sold them for $14 in the buyer paid shipping. So those are great margins in my opinion. Yes, most people would rather spend their time listing items that they can sell for $25, $35, $40. I get that. But sometimes it's fun to have little fillers in your store that sell quicker and that you can just constantly be having that cash flow. The next item I sold are these Disney miniature snow globes. These came in a mystery box and I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. Anything Disney, I usually list. The next item are these drawing pencils. These came from a garage sale. I paid, I think, 50 cents or a dollar for them. And I sold these for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. And they're barrel, B-E-R-O-L, barrel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But they're, um, let's see, turquoise drawing pencils. And I don't know. They're just, there's different things, like 375 5B is what it says on there. So people use pencils for drawing and they find something they like and they will pay for them. And again, $12 is not a huge bolo, but with what I have in them, I'm very happy with those profits. The next item I sold is this Muscle Men Mighty Enemies mini set from 1993. I sold this for $35.20 and the buyer paid shipping. I think they had $5 on this at a garage sale, but I ended up doing a bundle deal. So I'm guessing I paid about three for it. The next item I sold is this Chrissy's baby sister and it's a swing and play doll and accessory set. I dug this out of a mystery box and figured out which items went with it, which did take some time, but I sold this for $35 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is this Masters of the Universe Portfolio School Folder from 1983. How cool is that? And I took a best offer on this for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. This came from a garage sale and it was one of those where I just lotted up a bunch of stuff and I probably had less than a dollar in it. All right, you guys, again, I apologize that my camera's down. Um, and the bad news is is that I have tabs pulled up for, I think, 10 videos that I'll be recording either all today or today and tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I went ahead and worked on my tabs because I like to record in bulk. Uh, it saves me time and, you know, helps me stay focused on my job, which is listing on eBay and generating sales. So you're going to see a thing for um, different videos that I have. And I should, I, I've been popping up the list perfectly. I cross post everything to Mercari and Poshmark, some things to Etsy, some things to, is it Depop or no, Grailed. I do Grailed. Um, so definitely check out that video if you guys are not cross posting. And if you're cross posting manually, definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. You can use coupon code Bolo Buddies. That is an affiliate coupon code that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. So you guys should definitely go check out that video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Sorry, my webcam's not working. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks for watching.